We're gonna go see what all the fuss is about and hopefully it might be interesting, hopefully it might not. Yeah. But it's absolutely freezing. This is Guy, who's with me to assist with the filming of this opening. Momentous of, occasion. Momentous occasion, exactly. Um, so, that's all I have to say. We've got like, do a quick time check. We have got nearly half an hour to go. Half an hour to go. And it's absolutely freezing. To, to call this game the pinnacle of Bungie's game development, it's pretty impressive. When you think about Halo 1, Halo 1 in itself, and how they've improved all throughout the games and all throughout the years, it's just, qu just quite exciting to know that this could be the best Bungie game ever made. Which is... Do you reckon that's a valid point? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so do I. So, it's absolutely pitch black. I've no idea why we're doing this. It's absolutely freezing. To go into detail, personally for me, the franchise and the series has always been, like, a sort of definition of my gaming. I don't know if you call it a career or gaming love, because I think for anyone who calls himself a serious gamer by heart, there will be that one game that defines their real experience and that one game that really clicks when they first started in gaming and that game that they will always love for the rest of their life and you know some people are like oh Legend of Zelda or Super Mario or um a shitty game. Uh, what's the other one um so yeah so I think everyone has their defining game of their kind of gaming experience and for me I know I'm not a kind of seasoned gamer by comparison to some other people, but I think Halo in itself has, has always been the, the definition of my want and love to create in the industry, just purely on how defining Halo 1 was as a story and how it's progressed in the years. Uh, like 11 o'clock at night, absolutely freezing, and like pitch black. It's kind of testament to what gamers are, really. People have a passion for something so dear and that's, that's held so dear and true to them that they get so much enjoyment from and so immersed. It's just really inspiring the fact that, you know, given 30 years ago, people would be like, oh, gaming, whatever people go watch films or read books to get engaged in entertainment but now the you know gaming and video games is becoming that kind of form of entertainment that is just becoming so immersive and so at the forefront of development and technology that to make me and Guy here get up at half eleven at night just to go to a launch to pick up the game I think that's quite impressive and I hope the game is all what it's meant to be that you must have played the beta yeah, I played the beta. 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 It's beta. It's beta. It's not beta. It's beta. It's beta. beta. It's beta. It's the beta. I played the beta. Later. The beta. The beta, 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 beta. So, this is a 12 year old with their mother going to Go buy the game. Stick that in your pipe and smoke it, Peggy or ESRB. People. Buying games for their children, crazy violence. That's what this country has come to. <laughs> do you do you agree with this? Yeah, basically. Well, you, you agree with promoting violence yeah. and and poisoning children's minds with violent images. Yes, yeah, exactly. Oh my God, look, we've got we're ready now. No, you don't. We've got, we've got, we've got to wait till tomorrow. Okay, so we're now we are now in game station, as you can see, and. Did you know the Halo Reach strategy guide is $9.99? What do you think of that? Pretty good value. Pretty good value? Yeah. What, what about the £30 controller? Rip off. Rip, rip off. off. What about Fantastic Football Fan Party? <laughs> what the gameplay? Oh, yeah. What Monster Hunter? So it's also important to know 
So it's important to know that. How many people are coming? Well, 20. 20? You know, I think in terms of video game cultures, it's real testament to. Add the 30 in game and, and about 20, 30 in game. I think it's real testament to what you consider something to be game culture and a franchise that's got that, you know, a hardcore fan base and people who are willing to get up. Like us and these people here. See, it just shows that you know, cultural video games are a form of entertainment in itself. So it's developing something that's so become so mainstream and it's had that stigma attached from it that we just don't want to develop that problem anymore. Do you agree? Sorry, I wasn't listening. Yes, 11 52. No way, my god! Oh my, oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh. So get this, I didn't pre-order but they gave me a code for the recon armor anyway. Okay, okay, so we're now leaving Game Station. It was an experience entering the darkness. We are entering the darkness of Tons of Town, Tons of Town, Tons of Town again. Quite a liberating experience, I cannot believe. We are now in first midnight launch. First midnight launch. It's hard to believe that we are now in possession of the most anticipated game of 2010. So, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Check out the website xboxlivex.co.uk for more information about Halo Reach and a review. Also, the Halo Reach tournament which is coming up, which you make sure you sign. See, exactly, he doesn't know about the tournament. I mean, you get a chance to play the game with all, all like, the people from Xbox Live Addicts. It'll be awesome, so go check that out. On location, at midnight, the release of Halo Reach, on the door, on the minute, at Game Station in Taunton. Also, if you're not following us on Twitter, make sure you follow us on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash Xbox Live Addicts. Or you can follow me, personally, at twitch.com forward slash Jonathan Waples, J H N H H O N Waples. And okay, I've had enough of talking. That's been it. Hope you've enjoyed it. Leave a comment, subscribe, and see you cats on the flip flop later. See, uh, keep it classy. See you on Xbox Live. Bye bye.